Hey everybody, Clinton here, Oval Window Racing. And uh, today we're gonna open the big box. Give you a little hint, it's from my favorite company, or one of my favorite companies, CB Performance. So you can see it there, we'll look at it here. It's probably dark on this side. But uh, yeah, this is gonna kind of give you a preview um, on what's to come in the uh, quest for the 11s with Simon back here. <laughs> You know, I haven't had much much of a chance, but uh, right now, I think my best ET is 12.12 at uh, roughly 114 mile an hour. And pretty close to the mile an hour I need, but uh, it's getting going and uh, getting a little bit more mile an hour. But uh, yeah, let's get the knife out and let's open it up. They're using really good tape or someone needs to sharpen this knife. It looks like a, it's a package weld. Lots of tape. I would expect them to have a bigger sticker. And like all things that come from California, there's a possibility of cancer. I don't see that. <laughs> paper, paper, paper. Paper. More paper. That's what I always wanted. Paper. Oh, here we go. There's one of them. Voila. More paper. Here's the other one. And for some reason it's got the number six on it. And some gaskets. Oh. Got some special nuts too. I didn't realize they came with nuts. Nuts for a special kind of nut. Alright, what I got here are CD performance high flow end castings. And to give you an example um, of what a stock end casting looks like, I have it here on the table. This is a stock one. Just look at the size difference. And these, of course, since I'm fuel injected, are machined for the fuel injection boss bosses. This isn't this isn't off of Simon. Um, this is just a stock end casting. I do run CB Performance's uh, um, end castings with the uh, fuel injection on it, but they're a lot like this one here. If you guys remember a video I did earlier, I'll try to um, put it down down below, but there was a video I talked about making the end castings bigger, because if you see, see the size comparison there, these have a much bigger hole on the front. Um, this will actually fit inside there. I had taken the ones I'd got from CB Performance previously and had that um, hole bigger. Um, it should be two inches. This will be a, a lot stronger. I used uh, tubing for uh, turbo. It was softer aluminum and it did kind of crush a little bit. I mean, it still worked. It did get the job done. These will be a lot stronger. And if, just by looking, holy cow. See inside there. So, let me get some light in there. Might have to shine the cell phone in there. There we go. There is definitely a lot more flow in there <laughs> compared to something like this. The road castings are based on something like this. I can't even get any, get any light through there in there. The whole downfall of this type of system with the end castings is the restrictive end here. I know back in the day there was a company used to, I think it was Johnny Foreplay. They used to make a four barrel intake that worked with these end castings, but they really, really didn't take off because this is like a big choke. There was another company, there might have been two other companies that made a high flow end casting like this, and they were really hard to find. And then, you know, that was before the whole fuel injection thing, thing so you couldn't really find any with the fuel injector bongs. At least I've never seen any. I mean, if you know of some, um, please make a comment down below. Let everybody else know. But the other uh, good thing about these is they're based on their big beefy style manifolds. And uh, there is a lot of room for porting here as of something like this. I mean, just, just look at the difference there. And the heads I'm running right now, uh, there's really no need for this yet, but <laughs> hint on what's to come. <laughs> But yeah, uh, these are advertised as uh, flowing 50% more 
than their stock. I don't know if they, I'd have to reread re that. I don't know if it was on a stock end casting or their previous stock end castings, but 50% more flow is, is incredible. Um, I'm really excited to try them out. Now you're probably noticing by now that these are, from the right to the left, are slightly different color. One's a little shinier than the other. I am aware of that. Um, Mark over at CD informed me on that. I actually got a little bit of a discount because of the uh, imperfection. He said you could either sandblast them both to make a match or powder coat them both to make a match. But I do like the big CB uh, emblem on the front. That is cool. But yeah, otherwise, if I wanted to wait, I could have got a matching set, but they are behind. I don't even know if they've got the castings yet. I know they were having trouble with uh, their castings for their heads. So I do have a set, I'll, I'll break the news. I do have a set of heads on order through them. And uh, I won't tell you which ones yet. <laughs> That'll be for the next box opening. But they're 10 to 12 weeks out. I think um, about the time I was ordering them, they had just got the castings in. And like I said, they're still, they're still 10 to 12 weeks out. So I don't even know if I'll see those by summer. I'm hoping. You know, because we are in a thaw out here in Michigan. Uh, daylight savings time has changed and has really <laughs> messed me up this week. And the uh, ground is uh, still wet, but as soon as it starts uh, hardening up a little bit and uh, we get the computer back in Simon and get them running, it'll be time to get them out of the basement. And then uh, when that happens, I do have to pull out the uh, engine so I can fix the uh, transmission issue. Uh, so it's about bouncing out of fourth gear. If you guys remember from my a couple of my last videos from last summer but uh, we'll see I did ask uh, Mark this is one thing I am kind of uh, a little confused and disappointed because CB performance sells a lot of uh, four or five different type of CNC ported heads and uh, I ordered gaskets and I was really surprised that they didn't have them for the uh, heads I ordered I figured if they have CNC ported heads, they would have gaskets to match. And I'm gonna, he said he was going to put a pattern on. I can see this one's beat out. Ah, he did draw it on there, okay. Oops, can't give it away. <laughs> so he did draw one on there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do have to match port these. Do have to match port these to the, um, to the heads I'm going to have, and I may still wait, depending on uh, how accurate that is. I don't know what he means by out. Oh, that looks like it should be the top. Put them on here. Yeah. Yep. We'll find out. <laughs> I'll take a look at it and and uh, see if I want to start um, grinding away on these or not. I could have had uh, them match port them, but they still have to do them by hand and that would have come at an extra cost. Um, even having them CNC ported comes at an extra cost. But uh, apparently the with the, I don't know if it's all heads that CNC port, but these particular manifolds that they, uh, maybe it's because they can't chuck them up in, the, in their CNC mill. Um, and I'll CB if you're listening. <laughs> maybe you can explain that a little clearer down below by leaving a comment. Anyways guys, uh, yeah, that's what came in the box. Um, kind of excited. There's new things to come hopefully this summer and um, yeah stay tuned and as always keep shifting those gears we'll see ya take care paper 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 more paper <laughs> <laughs>